Okay, well, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us here on our, our uh, Blow Steward Travel YouTube channel. And today we're going to be speaking with Maxine Gunderman, who's the um, Celebrity Cruises Manager in Ontario. She's based in Toronto and she, um, she's our go-to person with, with celebrity and she's got all the knowledge. Uh, if we have any questions, uh, she's got the answers. So we're, we're going to review some information today um, about celebrity cruises, uh, some of the, the new cleaning uh, and health and safety protocols, future travel, uh, of course, uh, deployment of the ships and how you can use your future travel credits, uh, among other things. So I'm going to um, turn this over to Maxine and she's going to give us some rundown and, and I'll um, certainly add my two cents worth as well as we move forward. Thank you very much, uh, Maxine, for joining us today. Thank you very much, Rob. It's my pleasure to, uh, to chat with you and your following as well. Well, nice. I like your background. That's getting us all in the mood. We need to get away. We need some, we need some uplift these days. This is my mental space right here. This is where I would love to be and where I'm sure a lot of you would love to be, you know, especially as the weather's getting a little bit cooler, the summer's cooling off. Uh, we are, we just cannot wait to get that everyone back on board. And, but of course, primarily doing it safely. So Rob, the first thing you would notice is we suspended all sailing starting in March. And it's always been our intention to look at cruising holistically to make sure that it is the absolute safest place to be on in the world, on the planet. And so one thing that uh, you, you all might have read some press releases in the newspapers is, well, Celebrity Cruises is part of a larger group called the Royal Caribbean Group. And collectively, we have put together our own internal experts, our marine operations and, and those kinds of people, but also reaching third party externally to the ex-CDC director, epidemiologist, you know, the real experts, not just the industry experts, but the global experts. And we have brought them in to externally take a look at cruising to see every single aspect and do a thorough overview before we get back into operation. So we can imagine you know, we're not trying to rush it. We want to make sure when we get back into service that there aren't any incidents and we are the safest, you know. Uh, so it's possible that a December start date or a January start date. So when it comes to booking again, you know, you can still book now. It's still open for the bookings and the promotions are fantastic. And I know we're going to talk about that later. But when it comes to the operations, that healthy sail panel, as we call it. And we also partnered with the Norwegian group because again, we want the entire industry to succeed and to be better. So as much as we haven't released too much yet because we left it with the health and sail safety, the healthy uh, safety plan panel, my goodness. And now they've, they've returned their findings and we're reviewing it. Then we send it to the CDC for their stamp of approval with their experts as well. And once all of that comes together, that's when we can go back into to sailing. So what would that look like? It would, you know, at least for the very beginning, be less ships in the water. It would be, you know, slowly returning our entire fleet. You can see this beautiful ship behind me is one of the Edge Series ships. If you're familiar with these beautiful new vessels, they were really built for physical distancing. It's more space than ever before, larger in its tonnage with less passengers on board. So especially when we come back into service at 50%, 60% occupancy, whatever that recommendation might be, you're gonna have even more space than ever before. Then on top of that, it's the crew training. And then it's also, you know, increasing crew for service standards, you know, we, we've had a lot of chatter over the last few months about what would the buffet experience look like? And the most important thing to think about is that we want to make sure that cruising continues to be enjoyable. So it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to feel like a hospital or it's not going to be, it's still going to be that same cruise you've been looking for. But the safety standards are going to be 
even higher than ever before. So buffet can still exist and it will almost be better because it'll be full service. So you still have that variety, but more crew members serving you everything so that there is that less contact and exchange there. Hand washing stations already exist. The sanitization of the ship already exists. So we are just taking that to the next level. Things like theater, dining, Ember, that's a big one. We have already done frictionless check-in. And Rob, I don't know if you've experienced this yourself, but the technology that we have introduced, when you, you know, you check in online before you even get on, before you even get near to the ship, and you're able to scan your phone in the terminal, it really doesn't have a lot of contact or exchange. You really just walk right through. You know, there's the short security check-in, sanitize your hands and you're on the ship. So it's gonna be staggered timings to have less people at the same time. It's really, we've already done so much with our terminal, our technology and the ships themselves to make it uh, really sustainable in this current environment. So, you know, we're not looking for the short-term wins, we're looking for the long-term preservation of the beautiful world of cruising. And it really does stem from all of these different ideas e-muster. So for you cruisers who've done this before, you might be familiar with the safety drill that is required before we set sail. And normally you go to your muster station and everyone gathers together for the safety briefing. That has already been eradicated. So that's also one of these safety features that makes it better where you can actually now do your muster drill, you know, the safety briefing on your phone, pre-cruise, on the television in your room, many different ways. And at some point before we set sail, you must physically check in to your muster station so you know where it is in case of emergency, but we don't have to do it all together. So it really alleviates that gathering in large groups and also keeps operations, keeps the bars open, keeps the pools open on that first day of the cruise. So that's another big win as well. So I'm just giving you examples of a humongous, you know, 100 page about all of the different procedures and policies, airflow. We did a third party test that shows and proved finally scientifically that there is no recirculation of air between any of the staterooms. The medical facilities on board, the policies and procedures, pre-cruise, during the cruise, inshore excursions, and debark have all been looked at. So we are really excited and we just simply cannot wait to get everyone back on board knowing confidently that we will do so safely. Well, that's fantastic news. Uh, we, all, we all knew how, um, uh, how diligent, you know, Celebrity Cruises was uh, pre-COVID pre for sure. And all these uh, safety protocols. I mean, there's, uh, I don't know of any other segment of the industry. I, I don't think the airlines or resorts have to meet CDC standards. So, you know, what level this has gone to and and uh you know I, there's there's no second chance either so every everything is going to be top top of the line I, i'm sure the crew is going to be um incredibly well trained and and they all understand too the ramifications if things aren't to standard so i i'm i think people are going to be very uh very pleased with um all of the extra effort and, uh, and feel much safer than they are. I mean, they already did feel safe, but I mean, this is going to be over the top. So I think that's, that's great. And they can be very confident knowing that uh, they're going to go on a cruise and still enjoy the cruise experience, but really not have to worry about any, um, any of the other uh, issues that maybe they had, if they had thought there might've been issues, but I don't think there are going to be any for the sound of it. Naturally, you know, we, we're familiar or, you know, data shows that the ones who have, those who have cruised with us before or cruised in general are very aware of how meticulous cruising has always been. And to your point, Rob, you know, going beyond and over and beyond the, the typical standards and cruising having been held to CDC standards and the only one in the industry who has been so. And so we know that the tried and true cruisers they have the confidence and it will take a little bit more time to get those who have never cruised before to have that level of confidence as well. But the data also shows that non-cruisers are also open and interested in cruising and 
we will just see that in the next you know year so when we start back up whether that's december or january those vessels the itineraries we're looking at are we looking at shorter cruises longer cruises what is the opportunity to get back in the water and then when it comes to next summer you know people are planning alaska people are planning europe is it staying closer to home or is it going over to europe where they're a little bit more advanced uh and then we're all right we're already open all the way until may of 2022 so the following winter season so a lot of the data shows that maybe canadians aren't necessarily traveling this coming winter but it would be very smart to book ahead for the following winter because there is that pent-up demand we haven't been traveling for you know over eight months now and uh so the smart thing to do is of course primarily work with your local travel experts like blows and stewart travel and planning in advance we have removed all of our you know policies and terms and conditions all of any booking you make is a fully refundable deposit and we have something called cruise with confidence which is a guarantee a policy guarantee that is threefold if you have an existing booking right now or you're making a new booking you're covered automatically by our cruise with confidence you can cancel for any reason up to 48 hours prior to departure and receive 100 percent future cruise credit so no penalties there so of course when i say refundable deposit that's from when you book until the final payment and final payment is due three months prior to sailing so again if we're planning a Christmas or a New Year's cruise for 2021 or you know all the way out until May of 2022 that deposit is refundable until three months prior to departure but let's say you know you do pay your final payment you have the intention of going and and then closer to sailing up to 48 hours prior to departure you can cancel for any reason and receive 100% future cruise credit uh, with no penalties another thing another reason you know we Rob, I'm sure you interact even more than I do with clients and consumers and the direct public. You know, they might say, well, I'm waiting to see, and I'm, I'm gonna wait and book later once, you know, you come back into operation. The only downside with that is again, the, the finite inventory. We are reducing capacities of our ships. We're doing less ships at first back in the water. So with the Cruise with Confidence, we have the best price guarantee. So the earlier you book, the better, because you do get to pick your room, you do get to be secured on that sailing with the best price, best promotion. And for any reason, if that price were to go down, we can adjust that up until final payment. And even after final payment, any variance would be in the form of an onboard credit. So if the price went down or the promotion got better, we'd get you the new promotion and any price differential would be onboard spending money. So it really gives you proof that booking early is the best thing and the safest thing and very responsible because it is fully refundable and the best price guarantee, et cetera. So for those who either had an existing booking that's been affected by our, our global suspension and not been able to sail this year in 2020, then you might have a future cruise credit. So being able to use that future cruise credit is certainly something you can do now. And even better, you might not even have to pay any additional deposit or anything like that just by applying your future cruise certificate. So making sure you're talking with your expert travel agents on that. And if you do have an existing booking and you're still not quite sure if this winter is going to be the one for you, the last piece of best, uh, you know, the, the cruise with confidence policy is called lift and shift the ability to take your existing booking and shift it to the same cruise in the following year. So let's say you had booked a January Caribbean cruise, something like the one right behind us. And you know, you're not sure if January, 2021, you're gonna be ready to go. We know that there are still so many question marks, the, the border closures, the 14 day quarantine upon return, flight opportunities or, or you know, limitations in scheduled air. Those kinds of things so you could actually lift and shift that january 2021 to january 2022 we would protect that pricing and promotion so rob i'm sure you know a lot about those and, and you might even have feedback from some of your clients who who have benefited from that kind of flexibility 
Yes, we have actually, and they've been uh, quite pleased with um, with being able to lift and shift, especially if they had booked a great promo with it might have had a beverage package included or gratuities, uh, those kind of things, that they don't lose that. And, and uh, they just move it to, I believe, Maxine, you can clarify, within 30 days sailing of the original date or within the same month, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but but essentially, you're moving like a January to January type type of thing. Correct. Yes, it's it's uh, it's three to four weeks in either direction. So if it was you know if it was a January, the only stipulation, of course, if you were booked on January second, we wouldn't back it up to a holiday sailing. Those aren't necessarily apples to apples. But if it's the same length of cruise and the same destination. Uh, then you would have a, a buffer zone of, of uh, about four weeks around it to, to, to lift and shift it. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, I mean, there, after reviewing all of those, uh, those policies, the cruise with confidence, you got nothing to lose to book early. A lock in, you can't, the price can't go up. You can only get better. And with limited inventory, um, you're going to lock in uh, the date you want. And, and uh, if you wait, I, I'm afraid there is going to be some, some issues as well as, uh, you know, the sooner you get the, the cruise booked, we can start looking at airfare and uh, we can usually book the air about 11 months in advance. So, you know, we can, there's, there's probably going to be limitations on, on air as well uh, as the airlines begin to ramp up. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity to get things on the books and, and know that you don't have to worry about it. And when um, uh, we as the travel advisors will monitor your pricing for you and, and if we see any great promotions come up, we will let you know and, and apply it and, and hopefully save you some more money. So your future cruise credit is, uh, you, you could have money left over and go on a second cruise. You never know. That's, that's the dream is do as many cruises with the free credits as possible. You know, the beauty of cruising, when it, especially for those who haven't cruised before, to think about how controlled the environment really can be is the fact that the crew members, well, first, of course, everyone is tested before they get on board. And, and for crew in particular, that uh, stringent policy is even tighter. So we know that we can control the environment because the crew don't go home every night. You know, think about hotel staff or resort staff, you know, the external interaction. So we can really keep the crews as a bubble, making sure that the pre-screening, the pre-testing, the, the questionnaires, the temperature checks, and all of the protocol makes it so safe to be on board. And, you know, then when it comes to the destinations, we were going we're going to make sure that all of the port personnel the terminal personnel and our shore excursions are pre-screened and making sure that those can be enjoyable as well so great opportunities i i do want to share more about or you know expose you more to the world of celebrity cruises so we actually have some live consumer virtual events coming up the first one we're going to be talking about alaska Rob, have you been to Alaska? Yes, I have. It's been many years. I'm, I'm due for a refresher myself, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, I have been to Alaska. It's, it's fantastic. We, you know, I, I too, I think uh, 2014 was the last time I was up in Alaska and I do miss it dearly. I had the opportunity of doing the, the package cruise with the land exploration with celebrity cruises. So you might fly into Fairbanks or Anchorage and do Denali National Park and Mount McKinley and all of the interior of Alaska opportunities and then do the cruise afterwards or vice versa. So at the end of September, we do have a virtual consumer event that you can tune in and see it live, you know, experience Alaska, start planning, start dreaming. If this is something that's uh, on your to-do list, the next summer is a really great opportunity. We really hope and expect that, you know, this will be behind us and Alaska being a little bit closer to home makes it nice and easy. Uh, our cruise starts in Vancouver, which is great as a local port. And so we're going to be doing prizes uh, for, all, for attendees. So there's some great opportunities there and some exclusive bonuses. So you would be able to get invited by Blows and Stewart Travel 
So look out for, for that, whether it's on their social media or you're on their mailing list, and then uh, they'd be able to take care of any bookings or questions you have. And that's the beauty of this partnership is, you know, they get you in front of us, the suppliers. You can ask questions nearly directly. So a great opportunity for that live virtual event, which is coming soon. Sounds great. Uh, we certainly will be promoting the event uh, to our database, uh, whether it be by uh, email blast or uh, if you're not already following us on Twitter or, or Facebook, uh, I'd recommend that you do because that's um, that will definitely be posted on on social media as well. That seems to be the um, majority of our clients are, are getting the information that way. And uh, I'm sure it'll be a, a very interesting event and certainly an opportunity to win some prizes. Why not? Exactly. So, you know, I, if there, the best thing you can do is always working with the local travel agent because they're the ones that we're communicating with. So they're the most versed training, you know, communications, all of the updates go straight to, to Blows and Stewart Travel. So if you do have any questions, we have that connection. And I'm locally here in Canada, I'm based in Toronto. So a great opportunity to uh, stay close to us for more updates. And Blows, we've, we've arranged, we do have special offers. So, you know, working with the travel agents, they, they are virtual, so affiliated. So there's some exclusive offers, exclusive pricing, extra bonuses that even they throw in to their celebrity cruise bookings as well. So thank you, Rob, for all that you and your team do. Well, thank you. We're, uh, we're always pleased to work with Celebrity Cruises. They've been a great partner for many, many years and uh, uh, support us very well and, and really look after our, our clients and uh, which, which shows with all the repeat clients that we have on Celebrity. So uh, thank you very much. And, and this is a great update and I'm sure it encourages uh, folks to um, ask questions anyway, at least if they're not quite ready to book, but it's certainly, uh, you know, Celebrity is ready to take your bookings and they're ready to look after you when you're on board. So we are certainly available in our offices. Uh, although the stores are, are not physically open, the phone numbers all work, the emails all work, and we are working to, uh, to service uh, all of your travel needs. So thank you very much, Maxine. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. Great chatting with you. Have a great day. We look forward to lots of uh, inquiries.